Coming up next, I'm gonna give a quick first review slash comparison between Reflection Man from Amouage and its newest flanker just released, Reflection Man 45. Which one? Well, it's not gonna be a full review, but I'm gonna tell you the differences, what I think off the initial smells right now. I'm actually gonna smell this new 45 for the very first time. You'll get to see what I think coming up next. Welcome everybody to Joel The Nose. Thank you for watching. Thank you for subscribing if you already have. If not, please go ahead and subscribe now. I'll give you a second before I move on with the video. I appreciate all your guys' support. Okay, let's get right into this. You know, uh, a lot of you may have known or know that uh, Amouage, the Oman-based niche perfume house, one of the most famous and I would say best in the world has released a new fragrance. And Reflection Man, this is their original fragrance, has been around for a while. This is a fragrance that is actually one of my favorites from their house because, let me just talk about it real quick here. Um, this is a fragrance, Amouage to me is one of those really beast mode houses where almost everything they put out is gonna be a just projection bomb, a beast mode, last forever on your skin. And also it's something that for me, typically they're very rich, very concentrated, very, you know, uh, you know, very strong perfumes, very, especially the, the masculine ones that are known as the man series, very masculine. What I like about this one, uh, Reflection Man, the original, is this is one of the lighter, more fresh, almost more versatile fragrances, I think, in their repertoire. So. Again, this is a, for Amouage, what I would call their freshy. Reflection Man to me is what, still gonna be much more, you know, it's, uh, concentrated and strong than the typical freshy, but for Amouage, this is a very good introductory fragrance, I think, for someone looking to get into this house. So what have they done here? Just now they've released Reflection Man 45. Take a look at that beautiful bottle. Um, it's got this kind of medallion on the front, which hang, I'm sorry, I was pointing at the wrong, this is kind of medallion that hangs down versus you can see the original. This is the new one. It's got this kind of different background here. Now, what have they done here? They have made this in the heart notes a little bit more floral with some, with some real kind of sexy, almost animalic jasmine and they've also made it more of a woody note but what is the main difference why is it called 45 what amouage has done here is they've amped up the concentration level to make this an extrait parfum extrait parfums are going to typically probably be somewhere over 25 to 30 percent alcohol you know there's no rule on this it's just these are generalities what they've done here is they've made this 45 percent alcohol so look at that juice. Well, you can't really, you can't see the juice because of the bottle. You can see it a little bit maybe from the back. It's hard to tell from the light. What they've done is amped up to 45%. That means half this bottle, half this bottle is perfume oil. The other half is the alcohol. Again, a lot of times an eau de parfum, which is very high concentration, can be around 20%. So that means 80% alcohol. You heard it, 45% alcohol in this baby. What does that mean for you, for the perfume wearer, for the person who loves this? It's gonna be typically, again, the higher concentration means you're gonna be longer on your skin because there's more perfume oil there. So that means more of it has to wear off and dry off throughout the day. It also means it's gonna smell differently for every person because the more concentrated and the more perfume oil there is, the more that interacts with your individual oils on your skin, your DNA, your immune system, which produces your smell. So this is gonna be, I think, a more, I would say volatile smelling fragrance, meaning it's gonna smell differently for different people, okay? Um, also means it should last longer. I, I, again, I haven't tested it yet, but my guess is you're gonna get over 12 hours of wearing. And Amouage is already one of the longest lasting uh, fragrance 
brands on your skin. This one's gonna be even higher. Lastly, they have macerated these bottles, meaning they've let them soak after they create and mix everything. Macerating is the process of letting the chemicals interact, come together to produce the smell that you'll ultimately smell when you spray it right out of the bottle. And so these have macerated for four months. Four months sitting there, almost think about it like whiskey or wine sitting in barrels. Same thing here. It's all coming together for this beautiful juice that sits in the bottle. Four months, 45% concentration. Let me spray it right now on the skin and give you my kind of first impression here. The first time I'm smelling it on my skin. Yeah, so what, what I like about this already is it's definitely got that more woody, I wouldn't say it's not necessarily darker, but it's definitely deeper and richer than the original. It's taken, it still has that fresh component to it, but I'm even getting a little bit of that, kind of that muskiness from the jasmine, which to me again is a very sexy element. Jasmine has these things called indoles. Indoles give it that almost fecal type smell, depending on the amount. It doesn't smell fecal, but that's that kind of sexy musky smell that indoles bring to jasmine. But it's also got that more of a woody note, more woody or amber, um, which gives it a little bit more of that, I use the word gravitas, but a little bit more of that hep, that, that depth, okay, and I, think this is going to be an excellent. Now, just to let you know price differences, the original Reflection Man retails about 340. The new X straight version, 45, it's gonna cost you a lot more, 480. So you're talking almost $500, 100 ml bottle. Gotta remember it's 45% concentration, which is probably about double a normal uh, parfum, eau de parfum. So, you're not gonna require, of course, as much as you would probably wear with the regular Reflection Man. So these are all factors you gotta consider. Is it worth it? Price difference, do you like the original so much that you don't want this essentially flanker of the original? Or do you wanna go in a new direction with a much higher concentration and longer macerated perfume? I think this is gonna be a perfume for the collector, for the niche fan who you know loves the original, loves the brand, and wants to try something where they've just amped it up in the concentration level, the maceration process, and changing some of the notes around to give it a different feel. I think this is gonna be for the true niche fan and true collector who wants a brand new homage because they love the brand and they love this particular series Reflection Man. So it's excellent. I'll do a full review later, but like I said, it's a beautiful fragrance. I, you know, it's a great combination of taking a fresh fragrance and amping it up a little bit. I think that's the best way I'd describe this. So thanks again for watching. This is Joel the Nose coming here, coming to you from Osme Perfumery. I will be back soon, of course, with a new video. And I hope all is well and you guys are rocking. I'll talk to you soon. Peace, love, and perfumes.